Hey, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial I will show you how to get rid of these white lines that we sometimes get in our patterns in Adobe Illustrator. So you can get them in your saved JPEG files and they will print if you print your pattern on a product or paper or whatever you want to print your pattern on. They will also show up in mockups if you create those. So it's important to know how to get rid of these white lines so that we can print our patterns seamlessly. So basically there are four ways that I usually try to get rid of the white lines. Sometimes one of them work and sometimes another of them works. So you just have to try it out and see which one works for you at this moment. In your file in Illustrator you will sometimes see the white line and sometimes you won't. If you don't see your white lines in your pattern in Illustrator, you may still see them when you exported your pattern as a JPEG or another file format. So the first thing we will do to try to get rid of the white lines is to export our pattern as a JPEG in the Asset Export panel. So what I do is I go to the Asset Export panel. If you don't see your Asset Export panel, you go to Window and Asset Export. Then I will drag in my pattern swatch and in the export settings I will go in and choose JPEG 100. Then I will make sure I click on the little menu and format settings. Click on JPEG 100 and under compression method I have baseline optimized and under anti-aliasing I have art optimized. Save settings and hit export. I will just export my pattern to the desktop and here I have a folder with my file. So let's try to open up this file and see if we have some white lines. So it seems that this worked this time so I don't have any white lines in this JPEG. So if the asset export works for you then that's great. If it didn't work for you, let's move on to the next method. So the next thing we can do is to try to export this as a JPEG and place it in Photoshop. So let's go to File in Illustrator, Save As. I will save on my computer, on the desktop. Make sure I select Illustrator EPS in the format. And I will use my Artboard 1. and hit save and then I will just hit save. When I saved this pattern as an EPS I go to Photoshop and paste my pattern in Photoshop. I will fetch it from my desktop, drag it in in Photoshop, hit enter and check to see if I have any white lines. So this didn't work this time. I have white lines in my pattern here. But sometimes I found that this method works, so you should definitely try it out. The next thing we will do is to export this pattern as a TIFF file. So that's TIFF in export as, use artboards, range 1. Hit export. And in the TIFF options, I will just make sure I have the high resolution and art optimized super sampling. Hit OK. And then I place my TIFF file in Photoshop. Drag it in. Hit enter. Zoom in. And I don't have any white lines here. So from here I go to File, Save As, and save it as a JPEG again. Then I go to open my pattern and see if I have any white lines. And I don't. So that method worked for me this time as well.
So the last method that you can try out if none of those other works for you is to change your pattern in Illustrator. So if you have your pattern like this on a pattern tile, you select your background box, which is the one with the background color and not the one with the no fill, no stroke pattern tile. So you select your background box and drag that outside of your pattern tile box. Then you select everything again and drag it into the sources panel. And then we'll make a new pattern swatch with your new pattern. So sometimes this method works and sometimes it doesn't. So there you have four different ways of exporting your pattern from Illustrator to remove the white lines. I've found that none of these methods are bulletproof. None of them works all of the time. So you just need to try it out and see which one works for you at this moment, unfortunately. But now you have four methods to choose from and try out to remove your white lines. And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you want to learn more from me, you can go to myafaber.com slash Skillshare to check out all of my Skillshare classes. You can also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to don't miss out on my future videos. And say hello at Instagram at myafaber.